Hi everyone, this is Cole Chance from Yoga TX, and today we're bringing you a series from the chair. So we'll do some chair yoga today, and I want to send this out to my grandma Honeycut, I love you, and to JP's mom, Adela. So this is for you two lovely ladies. So let's go ahead and come into your chair. You'll want, I have a folding chair here, and this will work fine. You can also use a flat back like kitchen chair, but you wanna have um, a back on it. So go ahead and bring your feet about hip distance apart, and we'll have our knees over our heels. So we'll be centered there. And you don't wanna be leaning back, we'll go ahead and be sitting up straight. So let's start to just roll our shoulders back here and kind of get aligned. So slowly bring your shoulders up and back. We'll take several of these, so up and back. And just get used to the feeling of bringing your shoulders back and having that proper alignment. We tend to start sitting like this during the day. So just really be aware of your spine and your back and that we're sitting up properly. We'll start here. Let's take our hands to heart center here. And go ahead and take a big inhale. Feel your rib cage expand and exhale. And take another one, inhale. And exhale, release. And inhale, take your arms down and we'll circle all the way up. And they can either both come up parallel or they can touch at the top. And then exhale, bring it back to heart center. So we'll move with our breath. Inhale, circle up. And exhale, bring it down to heart center. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, down to heart center. Let's take our left hand up in the air. You can have your right hand either on your on your right leg, you can have it on your right hip. You can also grab the side of your chair or the leg of your chair. But we'll reach up with our left arm and we'll start to reach over to the right hand side. So we'll get a big opening in the side body here. Another inhale. And exhale. Make sure your shoulder's staying on your back, not coming forward. Inhale. And exhale, bring your left arm down, and we'll take that on the other side. So inhale, right arm up. And exhale, lean over to the left side. You can even look up under your right arm. That'll help keep your shoulder on your back. that a couple times with our breath. So we'll inhale, left arm up and over. And exhale, bring it back down. We'll inhale with the right. And exhale, bring it back down one more time. Inhale up and over. And exhale down and up and over. Exhale down. Okay. Go ahead and clasp your hands and we'll turn our palms out. So palms towards the screen here. We'll bring our palms out. We'll start to curve our back. So you want to make sure you're not all the way up against the back of the chair. So you might want to scoot up just a little bit. So we'll push forward and we'll come, we'll round our back. Bring your chin to your chest and push your spine back towards the back of the chair. So we'll be rounded over here. On an inhale, lift your hands up to the sky and start to bring your chest through. So head up, gaze up, spine arched, and then exhale, we'll round our back. Bring your chin to your chest. 
Inhale. Come up. If this is ever not good for your arms or your hands, you can bring your hands to your knees as well and do the same. So I'll show you a few in that, in that aspect. So we'll curve, curl down, tuck everything in on an exhale. And then an inhale, shine your heart, look up, arch your back. And exhale round. And inhale, shine your heart, arch your back. And come back to center. So you can take the, that either way. So you can do a couple this way and a couple with your hands on your knees as well. So find, in all of these, just find what's comfortable for you. You might not be able to do all of them, but there is a way to do them. So let's go ahead and separate your feet just a little bit wider here. And we're gonna take our right hand, and there's two options here. You can take it over so that your right elbow is on your right knee and your arm, your hand, your left hand is on your left knee here. And you can twist open, we can do it this way. If you have a little more flexibility, you can bring your right hand to the floor and we'll twist open this way. So reach up and really try to rotate your spine and look up at your hand, at your left hand. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And we'll switch sides. So wherever you are, if you want to keep it up high or take it down low. Inhale. Release. Every inhale, see if you can expand a little bit farther. And exhale. Release. And inhale one more time, really wake up your fingers, look up at the ceiling, and then exhale, release, and we'll come back to center. Let's take our hands back to heart center here. Let's inhale again, rise up, look up, and exhale, bring your hands through, but come all the way down. So wherever this is, if it's the ground, or if you're just coming over to your knees, whichever side. But we'll round our back and drop your head and your neck wherever you are. On an inhale, we'll lift up and straighten your back. So this will either look like here or it'll look like just about right here. And then on an exhale, we'll fall again, drop your chin. Then on an inhale, we'll come all the way up And back to prayer pose. So we'll take that a couple more times. So we'll really be moving with our breath here. Let's take an inhale. And an exhale. And we move. Inhale. Arms up, gaze up. Exhale all the way through the center. To the floor, to your knees. Chuck Tuck your chin, drop your head. Inhale, flat back wherever you are. Exhale, drop again your chin to your chest. And then an inhale will come all the way up. And your hands to heart center. Good, one more time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come all the way through your midline, all the way down. Fully exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale. Rise all the way back up. And back to center. Very good. Let's take our arms straight out here. Let's do some more rolls on our shoulders. So let's go backwards, really exaggerating the roll of your shoulders on your back. So inhale, we move. Exhale, we stay. 
Inhale, roll back. Exhale, stay. Inhale, roll back. And exhale, stay. Let's take our right arm around front of your body. Take your left hand and pull your right arm back. This is opening up this shoulder, this front shoulder here. So just be gentle with yourself, but pull that back. You should feel the stretch. Good, and open back up, arms to a T. Let's take our left arm in front, a right arm grabbing your left wrist or pulling it back. Just pull back here and find that stretch on your left shoulder here. Go ahead and release and you can shake your, shake everything out here. All right, let's turn to the right. So we'll take both of our, we'll turn all the way to the right here. So let's lift our arms up on an inhale. Grow really tall and grow out of your hips. And then on an exhale, let's turn towards the back of the chair. Take both of your hands and place on the top of the back of the chair. We'll slowly twist. Bring your head around last. And exhale, come out of your twist a little bit. On an inhale, I'm sorry, on an inhale, come out of your twist. And then an exhale, we'll twist again. Inhale, come out and grow long. And an exhale, again, twist. Go ahead and release. And grab your chair and come all the way around and come to the left side. So inhale, lift your arms up. And an exhale, twist to the left, grab the top of your chair, bring your head around last. Inhale, come out and grow a little taller. And an exhale, twist. One last time, inhale, and exhale, twist around. Very good, and come back to center. Let's actually stand up here, and we'll take our chair and we'll turn it, or I'll turn it, you don't have to turn yours, but you wanna be facing the back, I mean facing, um, facing the seat of the chair. So we'll place our hands clasping the outside of the chair, the outside edges here. We'll walk our feet back and find what's stable and comfortable for you. We'll come back about three feet from me, but I'm very long, I have very long arms. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to sit our hips back and you can have your knees bent here. We're just gonna traction our spine. So my knees are bent and I'm just sitting my hips back. So I want to just, I'm stretching out underneath here. Also my back, you can drop your head. On an inhale, you can kind of lift up a little bit and an exhale, sink down a little bit lower. One more time, inhale and exhale. So this is the down dog variation. You didn't know you could do down dog, did you? <laughs> we can. Let's go ahead and step up now. So we'll be right in front of our chair, our feet about a foot away. Roll your shoulder blades onto your back. We're gonna put the weight in our right leg. You're gonna start to flex your left foot and start to pick up your left foot. So we'll work on some balance here and you don't have to go very high. You'll strengthen your left or your right leg. You can start to lift up on your left leg. 
Let's just hold for a couple breaths here. Very good core strengthener too. And go ahead and release. And kind of shift back and forth here on your hips. And we'll take this on the other side. So again, make sure your shoulders are on your back. We'll put the weight in our left leg. You don't want it all the way straightened, but keep a little micro bend in it. So once you feel stable here, don't let your hips come out too far to the left. You wanna keep, you wanna keep that leg really strong and straight and start to lift your right leg. And this can just be a little bit off the ground too, but just find where feels good to you today. And breathe into it. You might not be able to hold it very long today, but see if you can work up to several breaths. And go ahead and drop it. Wonderful. And go ahead and sit back down here. Just go ahead, roll your shoulders back a couple times again. Shake everything out. Let's take our left leg and we'll put it on our right knee. And this as well might not be accessible to everyone, but just see what you, see what you can do today. So we can stay here, stay here and breathe. You can push your left knee away you can also start to lean forward a little bit, if that feels okay to you. So just find where you're at today. Be very gentle with your body. Getting into that left hip. And go ahead and come up. We'll take our right leg up and over. And then again, they'll be, it'll probably be different on both sides. I can tell that my, my hip's a lot tighter on this side. We can just kind of put some weight on it. Kind of lean forward a little bit. Try to release some of that tension. Inhale, exhale, good, come back out. Let's take our right leg out. So come forward a little bit onto your chair so that you can straighten your right leg. You don't want to come onto the edge here. So straighten our right leg, pull your toes back. Go ahead and inhale up and exhale, start to come forward. So we're just gonna lean forward. You can keep your left hand actually on your, on your left knee for support. And when you get to where it feels comfortable for you today, drop your neck and let that relax. And remember to breathe. Another inhale. And exhale. Good, slowly come back up. Bring your right knee with you and we'll take that on the other side. So left leg comes out. Let's inhale, lift up for length and exhale, come forward. If you need that support on your right knee, take it. And when you come forward, drop your head wherever you are. Let your neck relax. Back, sit back in your chair and we'll start where we, we'll finish where we started. So again, let's bring our hands to heart center and take a couple sun circles to finish off. So inhale, lift up, grow tall, 
and exhale, bring it to your heart center. Inhale, lift. And exhale, the heart center. And one last time, big and expansive. Inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and release, and you can just bring your hands to your knees. Well, thank you all for practicing today. I'd love to hear your feedback, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be able to share some modifications. And I hope you all enjoy, again, Cold Chance Yoga TX, and see you all next time. Think about visualizing that. Your shoulder blades coming together onto your back, chin up, sternum going towards the ceiling here. Exhale, we're gonna round. So bring your elbows together, tuck your chin as you start to curl your back. This should light up the muscles going on either side of your spine here. So you can control the intensity. So if you need to come, not go as far, this can be intense. Inhale.